Detro, Scott, NPR. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to follow up on something you said a moment ago. You said that there's no, no circumstances where American citizens cannot get to the airport. <laughs> that doesn't really square with the images we're seeing around the airport with the reporting on the ground from our colleagues who are describing chaos and violence. Are you saying unequivocally that any American who wants to get to the airport is getting there and getting past the security barrier and to the planes where they uh, want to go? I thought the question was, how can they get through to the airport outside the airport? And the answer is, to the best of our knowledge, the Taliban checkpoints, they are letting through people showing American passports. Now, that's a different question when they get in the rush and crowd of all the folks just outside the wall near the airport. That's why we had to, I guess, yet was it yesterday, the day before, we went over the wall and brought in how many? 169 Americans. So it is a process to try to figure out how we, how we uh, deal with the mad rush of non-Americans, those who didn't help, those who are not on the priority list, just any Afghan, any Afghan to be able to get out of the country. And so my guess is that no matter what, under what circumstances we, anyone, there's not a whole lot of Afghanis. Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of Afghanis that just as soon come to America, whether there are any involvement with the United States in the past at all, rather than stay under Taliban rule or any, any, any rule. So what I was saying is that we have an agreement that they will let pass through the checkpoints that they, the Taliban, control. They've let Americans through. But, but given this, given the negotiations with the Taliban, the scenes that we're seeing, can you just fully explain why uh, the, the plan wasn't to go ahead with these evacuations of both Americans and allies before the drawdowns began, before Bagram was closed, looking back several months? Because whether it was now or several months from now, there seems to be a broad consensus that the Taliban would make these gains and these would be needed at some point. Oh, well, yeah, at, at, at some point. But the point was that although we were in contact with the Taliban and Doha for this whole period of time, at some point wasn't expected to be the total demise of the Afghan National Force, which was 300 persons. Let's assume the Afghan National Force had continued to fight and, ha and they were surrounding Kabul. Be a very different story, very different story. But the con overwhelming consensus was that they, this was not, they were not going to collapse. The Afghan forces, they were not going to leave. They were not going to just abandon and then put down their arms and take off. So that's what happened. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.